Sir Syed Ahmad Khan 1817-1898, Sir Syed Ahmad Khan was a great Islamic reformist, educator, philosopher and author of the 19th century in India. He was born on October 17, 1817 at Delhi. His full name was Syed Ahmad Takvi Khan. His father's name was Syed Muhammad Mutaki who served as a personal advisor to Mughal King Akbar Shah II. His mother's name was Aziz Un Nisa who was an educated and pious lady. His family had great ties with the Mughal court. His maternal grandfather Kaja Farid ud Din was a minister of King Akbar Shah II and his paternal grandfather Syed Hadi Jawad was the general of King Alamgir II who gave him the title of Mir Jawad Ali. Sir Syed's mother played a formative role in his raising especially about his education and religious training. He was taught to read and understand the Holy Quran by a female tutor which was unusual at that time. He entered the service of East India Company in 1838 and went on to become a judge at a small causes court in 1867. He retired from the government service in 1876. During the Independence War of 1857, he remained loyal to the British Empire and was noticed in saving the lives of 20 Europeans. After the war, he wrote his famous booklet, The Causes of Indian Mutiny, in 1858. He began promoting Western-style scientific education amongst the Muslims as it was the need of that time. He founded Gulshan School at Muradabad in 1859, Victoria School at Ghazapur in 1862, Scientific Society in 1863 and Muhammadan Anglo-Oriental High School on May 24, 1875 at Aligarh which was upgraded to a college on January 8, 1877. It became Aligarh Muslim University on December 17, 1920. He also founded All India Muhammadan Educational Conference on December 27, 1886 at Aligarh for the promotion of education. Sir Syed Ahmad Khan was also a prolific writer. He wrote many books on different topics to encourage and motivate the Muslim community to seek modern knowledge by learning English language and literature. He was the first person in India after 1857 independence war who stated that Muslims and Hindu are two separate nations by each and every aspect of life. So they cannot live together in one country. He is considered the pioneer of two-nation theory in of the modern history of India. He coined this term in February 1867 during the Urdu-Hindi controversy at Banaras. His two-nation theory is the base of the creation of Pakistan. This is why, many historians consider him the real founder of Pakistan. He devoted his life for the educational, economical, social, religious and political awakening and rehabilitation of the Indian Muslims with his friends like Mohsen al-Mulk, Wakar al-Mulk, Samula Khan, Altaf Hussain Hali, Shibli Namani and Deputy Nazir Ahmad. The British government conferred on him the title of Knight Commander of the Star of India, KCSI, Sir, in 1888. He was awarded LLD from the University of Edinburgh in 1889. He died on March 27, 1898 at Aligarh and was also buried there. Sir Syed maintains a strong legacy in Pakistan and Indian Muslims. He strongly influenced other Muslim leaders including Allama Iqbal and Quaid-e-Azam. Many universities and public buildings in Pakistan bear Sir Syed's name.